Hey everyone, how are you all doing? Rich Lee here, and today it's time for the second episode of my AC Milan Return to Glory series. We've arrived at transfer deadline day now, and I tried to sign Luis Adriano, but I couldn't push a deal through, so I've decided to sign up a couple of youth scouts, and I'll take another look at the squad in January and take it from there. Into the first game of the episode then, and we're coming up against Parma, and it was so sad to see them declared bankrupt recently. They've got such a rich history in European football, so to see them declared bankrupt is pretty gutting to be honest. As you can see here though, I start the game a bit cocky, doing a few step overs with De Chiglio, and I screw up. Then we've got a chance here with Menez, he plays it across to Niang and I mess up the sweaty goal. I'm not too sure how I managed it, nothing was going my way in this game and you can see that Barto passes the ball through to Menez here and the Palmer goalkeeper saves it with his face. A pretty impressive save really, but I wasn't too happy with that one. We get another chance here with De Jong. He's got not got the best of finishing, he smashes it off the post, and we're still not having good luck in front of goal. I play it through here, and I probably should have ran a bit closer to the goal, but because things weren't working out for me, I panicked and shot it from distance, and it didn't work out. I get one final chance though with Churchy. Is he going to make it happen? No. He finesses that wide. Nine times out of ten, that would be a goal. But things weren't going my way here. And therefore, I knocked it wide. This game was so disappointing. Palmer only had one shot on target. We had loads of shots. I couldn't find the breakthrough though. And it was a nil-nil draw. Next up, we came up against Juventus. And after failing to punish Palmer, I was absolutely determined to score some goals in this one. Obviously, this time we're up against Buffon. So it's not going to be easy to get the ball past him. But... After failing to find the back of the net and having so many chances in that last game, I just had to score in this one. And we managed to make the breakthrough with Menez just before half-time into the second half. And this is a very nice, well-worked free kick from Juventus. They knock it wide, though. And now we've got another chance here. al Sharawi's on the ball. He's going to play that over to Menez. And can we work something here again? Menez is just going to run with it. Can you get another goal? He steps over that challenge and he does get it past Buffon. That was poor goalkeeping. I was quite surprised. The goalkeeper in the last game was pretty good. In this game though, Buffon just wasn't playing well at all. He goes for this one with his feet, fails to get to it, and we take a 2-0 lead against Juventus. I was very happy with that. And now we get a very good challenger with Alex. No, we don't. And on the replay, you can see that I go absolutely clean through him. It wasn't a good challenge at all. Deserved the penalty. And can Tevez put it away? Yes, he can. Diego Lopez doesn't even go for it. We've got another chance here, though. Can Menez get his hat trick? No, nope. Buffon pulls off a decent save this time. We've got another chance, though, with Menez. Can we get a goal? It's coming towards the end of the game. Menez plays it across to Kevin Prince Boateng, but Buffon pulls off a decent save. And once again, we limit the opposition to one shot on target. This time, though, they score it. Into the final game of the episode, then, and we're coming up against Empoli. And I really wanted to make a positive start to this game. We start it with a free kick. Can we do that? Yes, we can. We make it 1-0 through Menez once again. He's been the main man of the series so far. And once again, he gets the goal there. Really nice floated in free kick. And Menez is on target with his header to knock it into the corner of the net to make it 1-0 in the 15th minute. And I was very happy with that one. He floated it over the keeper. He had no chance. And we take the lead here. Empoli are playing the ball around well, though. They smash that over the bar. And they get another chance here, but we steal it off them. We've got the ball through to Menez. He hits it. It goes into the back of the net. But sadly, he was offside. And Empoli have got a chance here. Are they going to make it count? They get the ball over and they hit the woodwork. We got very lucky there. We get another chance. Boateng's on this. He plays it through to Al Sharawi. What can he do with this? He's going to cut that onto his right foot. He goes for the finesse shot, but it's straight at the keeper. And Empoli are once again playing the ball around nicely here. Moving the ball around incredibly fluidly. And I just didn't know what to do. I tried to get a tackle in there. And I just completely went through him once again. Look at that. Terrible defending once again. Definite penalty. And can we put him off this time? Can we make him miss the spot kick? No, that was the perfect penalty. Right into the corner. Keeper had no chance. We're not going to give up though. We get the ball to Mastor here. He's going to take a shot from range. And that's a good save from a keeper. From the corner, can we score? No, it's another good save from a keeper. And from the next corner, we get another good header in. 
but sadly it goes over the bar and we work another opportunity here with Mastor. Keeper dives incredibly late, but it doesn't matter. The shot was wide anyway, and now we get another chance. But once again, the keeper denies us with his face. What is it with us in this episode? And the keepers stopping the ball from going in with their face. Anyway though, another game goes by where the opposition only have one shot on target. And once again, they were able to score it. We really need to be more clinical in these games. We probably should have taken nine points from these three games. Instead, we only take five. And we need to stop giving away penalties so cheaply. So after four games played, we're currently sitting down in fifth. We should probably have won all of our games so far, but we've not been clinical enough. We've had two wins and two draws, and we really need to sort that out. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.